my channel is about all things chronic illness so don't forget to like comment and subscribe hey guys i am here at walgreens to get my second covid vaccine been waiting i don't know what they're behind or what the problem is um but i will keep you guys posted hey guys so it's about probably like 11 something no almost 11 um the only thing that i'm feeling would be just increase like body aches um I don't really know like it could have been from my procedure because I kind of didn't I was sluggish and I really didn't feel the best um to like you know when I got up as far as my throat is still really sore from the procedure and my ears were hurting really bad um yesterday when I got home so I feel like it's intensified um but no fever nothing like that I just kind of feel just tired um so how many hours so i got my shot like right at like 1 30 um so i think a lot of people say look like, as long as you can make it past like the 12 hour mark then more than likely you won't have any um symptoms um or like severe symptoms um from the vaccine so i will let you guys know um how i feel in the morning i will not be going to practice i'm taking the weekend off just to rest because my body has been through a lot in you know this month and really this entire year um so i really just need to focus and enjoy doing nothing <laughs> um i have a lot of cleaning i need to do but i'm not gonna do it i just need the rest at this point so i'll see you guys in the morning hey guys happy um saturday hope everyone is well um i survived through the night from the second uh vaccine the only thing that i think i notice is i'm just like extra uh just tired and um I had like a little coughing spell last night I don't really know what that was about and like my body my joints just really hurt and once again it's kind of hard like to know um what could have been from the procedure or just lupus in general but I do notice like my legs are extremely like heavy hard to walk um Lots of back discomfort. But once again, these are things like I already had um, issues with. So just not knowing if it just makes it worse or, or am I good and I don't have to worry about it. Um, so my ears are hurting what they were hurting before the vaccine. Um, I don't know. I'm resting the entire weekend, like I said. So... It is what it is. Um, I just got up um, not too long ago and um, gave my stepdaughter her medicine at breakfast. My husband um, had to leave super early because we had like several track events. Um, we volunteered at a water station for a triathlon and um, yeah. So, it's just been, uh, it is what it is. Today's just going to be a lazy day. I'll make it up in a little bit and go get us something for, like, lunch. Because I'm not cooking. Uh, I just, like I said, I'm just uncomfortable. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, my stomach is super, super sore. Um, but that, I contribute to the stent. And I think my legs are because... 
I think they strap you down when you're um, having this procedure. I'm not sure because I remember the last time I woke up and I had like this big bruise on my upper uh, thigh close to my groin area. So I don't really know. It is what it is, I guess. Um, my lip is starting to get a little better from whatever they do when they wake you wake up. I don't know if it's from general anesthesia or from the mouth guard. As long as my teeth didn't get knocked out because some people come wake up and they like um, knock their teeth out with trying to get the uh, to um, extubate them. So, all right, I'll come back later if anything changes. All right, guys, so I'm out of the bed to go grab something to eat and just say a prayer because I'm in so much pain. Um, like with my back and legs. Um, is raining so that could be part of it i'm not really sure but i'm gonna get something to eat and then i will um do my medical marijuana um i did do a half of a um half a cc like at i don't know 5 30 this morning my husband got up because um, I was hurting so that I, you know fell asleep dozed off that's wore off so I will um come back a little bit later on I'm praying that it's just the weather like you know the joint of the rain Hey guys, happy Sunday. Hope everyone is well. I'll just pop on um, to give an update. Still kind of just feel blah. It's hard to describe. I um, have a lot of abdominal pain uh, today. I did start my placoneal back about an hour and a half ago. Um, and tonight I'll start my Humira injection back. So my rheumatologist wants me to do two shots. Um, so that way I don't have to do like a full uh, loader dose over. So since I've been off since what, July um, or end of June, I can't even remember. So I'm praying that getting back on my treatments will have me feeling a little bit better. Um, I do need to take my vitamin D. I, it threw me off because when I went in the hospital, um, like they didn't give me any of like my home medications or anything like that. So um, I was doing it on Saturday and then I switched and started Wednesdays. And then I went for the procedure and she mentioned it and I forgot to do it Wednesday and today's Sunday. So we're gonna make it Sunday. And just keep it on Sundays because that's when a lot more things are going on. So I'm about to take that. Um, I just want energy. Um, I am slowly switching over to um, pescatarian. Um, last night I did have the uh, sway, sway, I don't know how to say it. Um, fish, I just pan seared it and I had some black beans and rice. So that was really good. And that's what I had for uh, lunch. I just made extra so I would have leftovers. And I actually have some still left for dinner um, if I choose to do that. So my plan is to do at least 90% of pescatarian and 10% is when I want to eat like a steak or chicken or something like that. I'm just trying to like, I need to slowly detox my body to get some of the inflammation out and um a lot of that is coming from what i eat um so yeah i will um come back maybe a little later i have a family zoom 
um, meeting at like 6 to discuss our 2023 reunion. Our reunion was supposed to be this year in Hawaii, um, but because of COVID, we had to just postpone it. Um, and the group voted to now do Tennessee um, because a lot of people, I think the cost of Hawaii was just a bit much. But I looked at it as you have two years to save, but it still is a lot of money. Um, so the couple, our family that was hosting it, they're, they're older. Um, so it kind of worked out because it would have been a lot on them to try to plan all of that anyway. So, yeah. Um, but I hope everyone is doing well. I'm just sitting here in the office trying to work on track stuff, uh, smiles behind lupus, lupus smile box stuff. I am slowly going to eventually get back to Instagram and, and Facebook and stuff like that. But right now I just mentally needed the break and I will eventually be back. Um, even if it has to be in January, like eventually I will come back. But I'm just trying to do some behind the scenes things now to get things a little bit easier um, and organized for the lupus smile box um, because of the overwhelming number of applications that come through. So before I open it back up, I want to make sure I have boxes that are already prepped. So I'm re not necessary. I'm not rebranding, but I guess I am because I'm looking at possible changing um, my logo to be more um, centered with lupus um, besides just the title and um, just content uh, material that goes in the boxes, reaching out to a lot of companies. So there's a lot that um, I'm trying to do to make the open process a lot easier um so that way as soon as I get something it's already packed and boom it can go straight to that person um without being affected by my flares and not feeling good so um, I just want to be ahead of the game to make it easier so something that I want to be a blessing is not a stress thing for me um with my health so that's what I have to do so I'll see you guys all later. Hey guys, so it's actually Monday at midnight, but I just wanted to pop on. I um did do my Humira. I had to do two doses, like I said. Um, and I did do my Plaquenil for you know earlier today. <sighs> Sorry, I have to take, I pre-medicate with Benadryl and Tylenol, so I'm like extremely tired. Um, today was productive. I did not, unfortunately, get to rest. Um, I had a lot of paperwork grants to do stuff for the other nonprofit grant because I'm a grant co-chair. Um, <clears throat> so one thing tip-wise that I could give you guys, if, you know, it's hard if you're currently probably still working to to do certain things ahead of time. Um, but for me, I've mapped out, like, I have a calendar from September to June for the one nonprofit for the grant coach here. Because it's a lot of stuff that has to be done. So the days that I feel halfway decent, I'll try to, like, go through the calendar and mark off and get stuff done. Um, that way, when the actual crunch time happens, um, I can will be free to just focus on just that and nothing else. Um, <clears throat> because it's hard with us. We don't know from day to day if we're going to feel good. We don't know minute to minute. Anything could change. Um, just walking to your mailbox can put you in a severe flare because of the sunlight. Like it's so many things, so many factors that we have to. So the days that we do feel good, we have to like, a lot of times we cram so much stuff. Um, 
to where then it puts us down for two or three days after because we pushed ourselves to try to like make up for stuff. So my suggestion, if you work, don't work or whatever, um, you have things that are planned, try to like do it in advance. Like, you know, if you know you're going out of town in three months, so you can slowly start preparing to where you can say, hey, these are the clothes. This is what the weather estimate is going to look like. Let me make sure that, you know, I make a note to call in my refills before, you know, you go. So there are lots of things that we can do to try to prevent stress. Um, and some things are out of our control, of course. But I'm thinking if you're planning and you're preparing, um, it will definitely help you. And I had to learn this, of course, the hard way. And I'm still... It's a work in progress. Um, today, should I have rested and, you know, and try to, like, with my healing and recovery process? Yes, I should have. Um, but I got so caught up. And then I had a family reunion Zoom meeting. So it was a lot um, today. But tomorrow, I have nothing on our, my schedule. Um, and normally now that I'm back on Humira, I, I try, will try not to schedule myself for anything on Mondays, but to be honest, I can schedule Mondays because a lot of times with Humira, it sneaks up on you. And a lot of times you may just feel like tired the next day, but then like the side effects of like headaches, it's extreme, you know, fatigue, nausea, just different things. It seems to always happen by Tuesday or Wednesday, like two days, one to two days after. Um, whereas Ben Lista, like it wiped me out like that night. It wiped me out the next day and then into probably Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, everything's different. So tomorrow is strictly rest. Um, I see the G, the my old GI doctor that I used to see in 2012 or 13, I see him on Tuesday um, to just see his thoughts of everything that I've had to deal with. Hopefully I can tell you why I do. Excuse me. I still have stomach pain. Um, that has not went away. So it's just a lot of things that I need to get um, addressed. So be blessed, guys. Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, your girl is on the struggle bus. I've been in bed literally all day. Um, it's 7.46, so I'm in the office finally to work on some track stuff. I'm in so much pain. Like, my stomach and my side, when I tell y'all, it is... I get, I'm at my wit's end. I, I I just don't know what else to do. Um, I see the GI doctor tomorrow, going back to my old one. Um, and on top of starting the Plaquenil and the Humira back, it's just a lot because I'm starting with the going back to the bathroom again. And um, so it's difficult when you're taking two plaque O'Neill's and you're running to the bathroom and praying that you don't get sick to throw up um, from what you just took. So, what did I eat today? I think I had like cheese and crackers. My husband did bacon um, for breakfast and I had like a bacon sandwich. I didn't even eat all of it. And uh, that's it. Um, I think we're supposed to have steak tonight but the way my body feels I just don't know if I can even handle um that so I may be just eating soup or something a little bit easier on me I'm not I'm I'm just tired I'm aggravated I'm irritable because I feel like if I go two steps forward with feeling halfway okay I take 10 steps back um chronic illness is so hard on us but also our children our spouses um they may stand by us but 
trust and believe it's a struggle for them just as much as it's a struggle um, for us, like not knowing when it's okay to touch us because the nerve pain could be so intense. Um, it's just a lot. Like, I've just been praying all day and I've, you know, I did my medical marijuana. Like, I woke up at like five something in severe pain, um, fell back off to sleep, woke up at 10. And then I had, after I ate breakfast, I took some more and I'm just, it's not letting up. It really is not letting up. I'm supposed to get my biopsy results. The doctor said to wait a week. And if I hadn't heard from them, to call them. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know what else to do at this point, guys. Just really, 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 really aggravated. And just frustrated with everything. So, before I start to cry, 